Johnson, convicted of killing Felicia Barnes, but that conviction didn't stick because of a mistake by prosecutors. Soon, he'll go on trial again. Crime and Justice reporter Joy Lapola tells us about the key piece of evidence Johnson's attorneys don't want a jury to see. It won't be long before Michael Johnson is again on trial for murder. As that day gets closer, Johnson's new defense team is in court fighting to get key pieces of the state's case thrown out. From photo arrays to the 2011 statement Johnson gave to police. The suspected killer testified earlier this week. He spoke with detectives at the urging of his old attorney. Advice Johnson's new legal team argued was unconstitutional. The photo arrays, they argued, were illegally suggestive. To this day, the disappearance and murder of Felicia Barnes remains somewhat of a mystery. A criminal investigation complicated by the actions of some witnesses, attorneys, and even a judge. Police arrested Johnson months after Felicia Barnes disappeared from the apartment where the honor roll student was visiting her half-sister for the holidays. During Johnson's first trial, the state argued he had become infatuated with the 16-year-old who knew her because he was dating the North Carolina teen's half-sister. It was December 2010. Months later, the teen's naked body was found floating in the Susquehanna River in Cecil County. Even though a jury convicted Johnson of second-degree murder, the trial judge threw out the conviction, ruling the state withheld key information in the case. But today, a different judge refused to throw out Johnson's statement or the photos, rulings that offer a small sense of relief to the family of Felicia Barnes. In a statement released by Barnes' family late this afternoon, they say that this is a journey that no parent should go through. And they're just staying focused on seeing justice for Felicia. In downtown Baltimore, Joy Lapola, Fox 45 News. And Johnson's second trial is scheduled to begin in early December.